Hi, welcome back to another episode of The Vit Nerd. Uh, today I'm going to go over uh, the Fujinet version 1.6 that I have here in this box. Uh, just got my hands on it. I do have a version 1.5 and I'm going to compare the 1.5 hardware version of the Fujinet to the 1.6. So uh, let's get into it. Let's go ahead and get this opened. Got this a couple days ago. I'm just getting around to having a chance to check this out. I uh, got this one. Uh, also got the other one from Vintage Computer Center. Uh, Gavin over there. Uh, go ahead and toss that over there. And more Skittles. I uh, can always use those. Try those later. And as you can see, I got it in orange this time. Fun orange. Just put this box down here. Yeah, right there. I'll just leave it right there. Uh, so, this is the Fujinet hardware version 1.6. And we can compare it to, this is the 1.5. I got this in the Atari XL styling in the case, uh, whitish case, and this is the Atari uh, XE line, but in uh, orange. So uh, the case doesn't make any, really any difference at all in how this works. Uh, it's just fun choices on it. So we can see it's not really that different. Same buttons. probably see a good difference here with the pins and that is one of the major differences in this hardware version and uh, we'll get into that a bit more now you'll see that I do have labels I printed these and put these on myself the Wi-Fi Bluetooth and SIO uh, just to kind of complete that out now let me take a look at the list here the uh, changes in the version 1.6 of the hardware is a SIO 5 volt voltage uh, divider for better accuracy. Uh, run motor control signal through buffer with the pull up and pull down resistor change there. The SD card detect, uh, they connected it to the GPIO pin 15 on the uh, brain inside here. So on the 1.5, if you pulled out the SD card while you were using the FujiNets, it wouldn't really see a change if you put, you know, put a second card in. So they've added that uh, SD card detect, so you can do it on the fly now. So obviously that's better. But it's not a game changer. You know, if you have a 1.5, you're not totally losing out on something new. And uh, of course, these both do the same stuff: disk drives, printers, modems, Wi-Fi modems, and so forth. Uh, the bigger change, though, is on the back side. Again, you can see the pins for the connection to daisy chain additional uh, devices. If you want to hook up a real disk drive, a real printer, and so forth, uh, they've improved that. Let's take a look here. On the version 1.5 of the hardware, the pins just, just aren't good enough to keep a very good hold on uh, like this is a standard SIO cable and it just wants to loosen. I'm not trying to be dramatic here just to show this is the problem and why they, they made a change. Now there are workarounds. You can just, you know, wrap a, a strong rubber band around or something. Uh, or if you never plug anything into your FujiNet while you're using it, you're, you're not going to see a, a difference. Um, on the version 1.6, Ah, nice and firm. That That is never going anywhere. So as they uh, work on these to improve them, uh, they, they make it better all the time. So that is definitely a better improvement on that. So let's take a look at that further. Uh, I've got a caliper here. And we can see if we go ahead... 
we can see that, well, first off, the, whoop, let's go this way. The jack is about 13.8 millimeters deep. And the pins, 7.4 mil, millimeters long inside here. And if we take a look at the new version 1.6 of the hardware, we can see the jack, 12.2 millimeters, and the pins themselves, 8.7. Let's uh, test that again. Oh, I'm getting 9.9 .9 now. So obviously this is, is not a clear scientific uh, testing here, but uh, I've got a couple other items here. Uh, this is a Tari SIO splitter. And you can see the pins on here are 12, 12.3 millimeters. And then I've got another uh, device and SIO to USB device. These are uh, these two are third party products, not made by Atari, not, not made 40 years ago. And the pin depth on this is 11.4, 11.5 millimeters. Let's check the 1.5, version 1.5 of the FujiNet hardware again. And I'm getting 7.1. And on the version 1.6 of the hardware, 9.9. .9. So it's gone up almost three millimeters. Still not as much as some other devices. Oop, gotta get that in the center there. Clear the, that. I'm pretty close to that, 10.4. Now I do have a couple of computers here. Let's see what this does. The pin depth, 11.4 uh, so that's even deeper on the original Atari 800. And here's a, an Atari 800 XE. And I'm reading 9.9. .9. So you can see these do vary a lot. Uh, but thankfully, the pins are longer on the version 1.6 of the FujiNet hardware uh, in order to uh, just make a much better connection. Now, a couple uh, other differences. Uh, there's case changes. Obviously, they've changed this connector here. Uh, you can even see head to head here, the depth on uh, that. They do have uh, these available with uh, external antennas instead of Wi-Fi. Uh, well, sorry, they're both Wi-Fi. Instead of the internal antenna, there's an external antenna for the Wi-Fi. Uh, so you can put a bigger antenna on it uh, if you can't get to your access point from where you're using your Atari. However, you could just move an access point uh, into the room uh, that you're at. A lot of people were asking, well, at least a few, if you could do a hardware, uh, uh, you know, an RJ jack on here for a direct connect. Um, but if, you've, if you're going to have a hardware connect in that room, you might as well just put an access point in that room so your uh, FujiNet's closer to it. Uh, just other odd things, new plug holes, uh, new plug without holes, tighter tolerance for the plugs, uh, increased screw hole size. So not many changes on the case design. But that is one of the things with these is not only are they designing the hardware inside, they're also designing the software, the firmware uh, that's in here, and that's always changing. If you take a look at another video I've got for updating the firmware in here, and they're also changing the, the case design. So there's three elements here that uh, different people, different groups of people are working on. And I've said this before, you can work on this as well. It is a community project and they'd be happy to have the help to, to further these. So any ideas you have, you can jump in. If you've got the inclination, you just set up your system to do some programming uh, and designing, and you can get in 
uh, and help uh, with this community working on these. So one other thing I did want to take a look at is let's just open this up and see how they look different on the inside. Now I guess I can make the joke that this probably voids my warranty. So I've never opened this. Let's see uh, what I can break here. Okay. Oh, good. So let's take a look. Ah, pretty close to the same. You've got the brain here. You got your three buttons, of course. Your SD card slot, on off switch, USB connector. So the hardware hasn't changed that much uh, between uh, version 1.5 and version 1.6. Just primarily, again, uh, the pin changes and the SD card select uh, on the SD card slot in, or detect uh, so that you can see if the card has been uh, taken out and another one put back in. So uh, the takeaway I'd say, though, is yeah, it's nice to have the version 1.6. It's the latest design of the hardware. But both of these, the 1.5 and the 1.6, run the same firmware and do all the same functions except for the SD card detect. And honestly, you can, you can live without that. It's, it's nice that they improved the hardware, and they should, and it's a good change. But if you can get your hands on a version 1.5, go for it. I, if I needed another one, um, which I have two, but so I probably don't. But if I need another one, uh, I would just, if I could get the 1.5 version, I would just go ahead and get that. It's, it's going to do exactly the same functionality for printing, uh, the disk drives, cassette, the Wi-Fi modem, and so forth. So uh, if you have any questions, any comments, uh, put them uh, below. And uh, until next time, uh, thanks for watching. Ciao.